Hello fellow makers. Today we will take you through a very simple and quick tutorial on how to make a timer with OLED display using Node MCU, the most widely used ESP8266 based microcontroller. We will show you and provide you a working code to explain how can you make scrolling text in all directions, how do you display your own logo and how to start timer and show it on the OLED display. The things that you need are here. You need a Node MCU microcontroller, Adafruit OLED 0.96 inch dual color display. You can also use a single color or multicolor display, it's up to you. Just make sure you have the drivers available. Mail to mail jumper cables, a breadboard, a computer with Arduino ID strong, and most importantly, your imagination to further explore multiple possibilities and innovate for your designated an application. So let's go, let's get started. First of all, get all the hardware and software that are required for this small project. You can purchase these hardware from Amazon or any electronic shopping sites. For your convenience, we are providing you quick links to purchase this in the description of this video. Now once you have them all ready with you, put the OLED display and Node MCU as shown here in the circuit diagram and in the actual video. The important connections between OLED display and Node MCU are as I am going to tell you now. So connect VCC on display to 3V of Node MCU, connect ground of display to ground of Node MCU, connect SCK of display to D5, SDA to D7, RES to D3, DC to D2 and CS to D6 of Node MCU. In some displays you might not have CSP info display like in my case I didn't have that so I just ignore it. That's it. Now the connections are ready. Now let me take you through a code and explain it step by step step by step with the code. The code is pretty easy to understand but what one important thing that you require for this to you know, make it happen is basically the driver for the OLED, OLED display. So I am using Adafruit SSD1306 okay so you can see the header files as of all. So make sure that you download the appropriate driver and you are using in the code. Now how to use the driver and code you can refer to our other videos. Uh, those are very simple to do it. So let's go start and start it with the code. So as you can see, first of all, what I've done is I've defined the screen display uh, width and height. So as we know that this is a 0.96 inch display with 128 pixels uh, width and 64 pixels in height. And it's a dual color. So it's basically split it in the yellow and blue color. And then the next thing that I'm doing in a declaration is basically declaring the pin connections right so what i have explained you in the circuit diagram the similar things the similar definitions of the parameters have been displayed here okay so make sure that you copy them as it is then the next batch i'm just initializing the display so with the driver right so this is what i am setting it up and then i have counter as zero for my counter application and then in order to basically split it into the uh, you know seconds and minutes i have to do some conversion and this conversion is actually here now the next thing is basically the bitmap so as i explained that we need to have the bitmap of the uh, your logo and to create a bitmap you can actually go to any open source bitmap creation upload the image and create a bitmap the bitmap is basically in the uh, hex file so this is the bitmap of our logo and once that is defined the next thing is basically you can see is the setup. In setup we are just uh, by usual you know defining serial port. The later thing basically is this, defining the display okay? and then we are just making sure that the display is basically initialized okay and until the initialization happened it will just go into the loop. So once the display is initialized the next thing is basically to clear anything garbage on the display so we use clear display. And then we are creating a method called test code text, which is basically going to display the scrolling text, which we'll see you in a while. But before that, um, just read through this uh, you know, setup process. The next thing is basically again to clear a display, so we will clear the scrolling text and then we'll draw a bitmap. So to draw a bitmap, this is the command, and this my bitmap is nothing but the bitmap that we have defined here above. Then we are going to display it again, and then we are going to put a delay of five seconds now let's go and see the loop in loop what we do is basically once uh, the loop is basically going to get initialized for the timer 
So we see that uh, you know we clear the display again because there might be a previous drop map or a previous uh, you know text over there. So we are going to clear the display. We are going to set the text size to five because we want a bigger text, and then we are going to set the text color to white. We are going to set the cursor to zero zero, making sure that the starting point of writing on the display is going to be the zero dot zero, which means the x equal to zero, y equal to zero location. Then we are just getting the current time and then we are splitting it into days, minutes, seconds one. and then we are printing the minutes followed by a colon and then the seconds and then we display that and we do that in a loop so for every one second we are going to display a new time and that's why we are putting a table of one second right pretty easy so let's go to the test scroll text test scroll text is a very simple method in this what we do is again clear a display we are going to set a text size of two very small and then we are going to set a color and then we set the cursor to zero zero for the reason obvious reason that i have already mentioned to you and then i am going to show print the uh, text as centronics and uh, in the second line as technology so that is taken care by print ln command the ln uh, refers to the next line then we display and then we give a delay of 100 now to do the scrolling of the text, we use a method called display dot start scroll drive, and we define the initial and the final position of it. Okay, and then we give a uh, you know delay of two seconds. We do a stop scroll again a one second delay. Then we do a start scroll left. So we now scroll to the left. We give a delay of two seconds again. We stop it, and then we are going to do again the similar thing for the. Uh, diagonal right and diagonal left positions also by using these methods respectively that's it so that is our all code and i hope you have understood it very well the code will be available on our github repository and the link for the repository will be in the description field so you just what you need to do is this code just click on the link and download the code it's free for use unless and until you abide by conditions that's all so now let's see how the final solution looks thank you Guys, if you like this video, please do not forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel and share it with your fellow maker friends. Okay, so next video will bring it something exciting for you. Again, thank you very much.